In this video, we're going to receive uh, several serialized firearms into our inventory and show how that's going to deposit themselves into the bound book as well. So if we take a look at just, uh, we've got a Glock 36 pistol in stock, got 12 of those in stock. One thing to note when doing uh, receive uh, to ensure that there's not extra or additional data entry involved, you'll want to make sure that your defaults are configured for the make model, action, and uh, potentially even just the uh, importer so that that makes it easy to be able to not have to do that data entry uh, after the fact. If that information isn't filled in, there is a spot check to ensure uh, that that will come up and you'll have to, you'll be prompted to enter that information for receipt into your, your bound book and meet ATF requirements. So if we head off and create a new purchase order, and place our Glock on there. And as an example, we had 12, we receive uh, 20 more. Now in order to, to get into the receiving part, we do need to send this purchase order and that's really notifying the supplier that that's what we're looking to receive. Doing a quick preview of this does show that we're ordering 20 of those uh, Glock 36 pistols and just the estimated cost on uh, import or bringing those into the inventory themselves. When the inventory actually arrives, we can go ahead and look up that ad stock and that's where you're able to enter in your serial numbers. So this can be typed in manually. If you're lucky enough to have uh, them all in sequential order, you can go ahead and just click the add serial number button and that will just uh, make it really easy to be able to, to enter in that block of, uh, of serial numbers. And uh, the unit information for each one of those is taking the inherited uh, defaults from, uh, you know, from that side of things. So that just makes it easy to be able to import that information. If we receive this, we will be given uh, just our packing slip number and uh, that'll create the paperwork for us to be able to uh, go ahead and uh, just document that we received those, those serialized items and 20 of them. Now one thing to note, uh, this is uh, uh, noting that the importer is missing on, uh, on that side of things. So we can go ahead and, uh, and just assign a test importer for each one of these if that's what makes business sense. And that can be, that's just clicking it off and reviewing that and committing that to the bound book itself. So for the items that are being dropped into the bound book, we can go take a look at that and start to see that uh, those are being committed uh, to the bound book themselves. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, enter in the rest of those. And then when we're ready to review, uh, set all is reviewed, and then that's going to commit that to our bound book. So we can see that those, uh, those Glocks are now being uh, being set to our inventory. Now we received 20 of those. So if we were to take a look at our inventory item, we had uh, 12 before. So uh, 32 is, uh, is our received Glock inventory and those have been committed to the bound book.